Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are back in Eco once again, and I am on my way to get my steam truck. So I've got a load of uh, coal here, and we are essentially going to make one of the longest trips <laughs> that is available on the server, all the way from my house, all the way along all of these dirt roads, and we're going to go to the metropolis of uh, Napo. Which is all the way over here. And uh, we're going to pop over to uh, this store right here, by and large, where they have one steam truck available. And uh, unfortunately, it is in Lolbox, which I do not have any of currently. And so I am uh, taking this load of coal all the way over there so that I can get uh, so I can get a steam truck and stop trucking things around the cart. So, uh, let's see here, where am I? Oh, right there, okay. So, oops. So we need to take the right hand fork there. Right? Yes, right hand fork. And then continue along that way. Do we have... I don't think we have a road there. Interesting. Well, I guess not then, because that road is a long, long way. So, we're going to take this back and we're going to stick it into my large canoe. <laughs> and we're going to take a sail over there instead, or a paddle, I suppose. Because that road does not connect all the way over here yet. We'll have to see about doing that at some point. There's no way to get up there currently. So, we can take this over there. We're going to make sure that we've got plenty of food. Because that is a long paddle. And without being able to, uh, to eat some, we're not going to be able to get there. do that, I want to make sure that I've got plenty of food. So I'm going to go ahead and take all five of those, and we'll take, let's take five of those as well. There we go. That should give us plenty of food to make it all the way over and back. Hopefully, this will take all of the, uh, take all of the coal that I have here. I want to say it's big enough, but I'm not quite sure. Perfect. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and transfer all of that into the large canoe. Okay, so, here we go. Just 
I'm just gonna follow the coast here. And uh it's gonna be a long paddle. So I've been playing Eco on uh, the new 10.0 branch for a little while now. Ooh, hello crab. Um something a little wrong with that. <laughs> and uh I have to say that uh all of the changes are uh, are a little different. They've kind of uh kind of made a lot of this a lot more challenging. The biggest ones I guess would say that I would say would be the changes to uh, the basic upgrades or really upgrades in general, the, uh, the upgrade modules uh, because now instead of being able to craft those with just some materials they all require the research papers and uh, those are significantly harder to get a hold of um, at least on this world because uh, people don't seem to be crafting them or you know putting them up for sale and I'm, I'm guilty of that as well I guess I don't really realize how many of those are necessary to get that chain started um, so I'll have to see about doing that the other big change that I'm really it's, it's going to take some working around and some some collaboration uh, but I'm not really a big fan of the changes to property ownership. Um, you know, just the fact that you can only own one plot of land anywhere in the world kind of really locks you into like one area. There's no there's no ability to safeguard any of your work elsewhere. Um, you know, all the fields that I've planted, all of the you know, if I wanted to, to set up a mine or something like that, there's no way to safeguard any stockpiles or anything down there. Um, and so, you know, I, I can see the need for it, especially since, you know, they're, they're trying to get these uh, towns and whatnot going properly. Uh, but, it's definitely, uh, definitely put a little wrench in the works, so to speak. Uh, simply because we're so used to you know, doing everything with, you know, we'll just run out and, and put a, uh, a claim stake down or whatever and, and uh, you know, protect this little farm that I've set up with a, a piece of land there. You know, it's, an, an, it's entirely possible in the real world to own multiple pieces of property and multiple towns and all that kind of thing or multiple countries even if you're you know if you've got money and influence enough to do that um, and so I guess I don't quite understand I'm, I'm hoping they change it I, un I understand why they're doing it and for a first implementation I can see it uh, being a thing but I'm really kind of hoping that that changes in the future where, you know, you might you might be limited to, I don't know, one, one piece of property per town or something or a continent or something. But it just seems very restrictive to have only one, one piece of property per person. Or potentially, potentially a way to like form a company or something, and then you could own multiple pieces of property through a company. Um, you know, similar to how how we do often in the real world, where we have um, you know you can have a, a corporation or something that can own multiple pieces of property. Okay, so by and large, we finally made it over here. Ooh, the canoe movement's a little a little janky.
Looks like we've got a bunch of cranes over there at the dock, which is interesting. I hope they've got room. Go ahead and we'll turn over here. Ooh. Oh no! I guess my canoe is sinking! <laughs> okay. Iron large coal. Got 240. Perfect. Okay, so that's got me 216 lol bucks. I'm going to go ahead and we'll purchase a steam truck. 205. And that's going to leave me just a little bit left over. I don't really have anything else that I'm particularly interested in getting. The iron bars are kind of cheap though, so... Roads for three, bricks for five. Woo! All right, let me go ahead and uh, get back into here and paddle our way back over to the house. That's a, <laughs> that's a bit of a long trip. They've really changed quite a bit of stuff because honestly, you know, it used to be that we'd just, uh, we'd just run ourselves a, a road across the ocean here, you know, run a, a big bridge and, uh, you know, just do that. And now they've changed that uh, to where that's not a possibility anymore. There's, there are a couple places, you know, that where it's just going across like a shallow ocean or something. But as soon as you start getting into the deeper ocean, uh, you just can't uh, you can't build a bridge across there anymore. So it's uh, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a change, and not really one that I'm super happy with, I guess. But we do have our steam truck now, so that should make uh, transporting and moving things around significantly faster and easier. Um, I should be able to, you know, to make trips all the way up to, uh, up to the farm and, and haul back all of my resources that much easier and faster, um, you know, as far as mining clay and sand and all that kind of stuff goes, um, be able to do that without issue and, uh, move all that stuff over much faster and easier. And uh, so we should have should have brick production uh, speed up significantly because of that. And uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be gonna be all sorts of good things because of this. I'm gonna have to go and check and see. I think I can probably go and harvest my uh, harvest my crops again. Yeah, they should be all grown up by now. So. We'll have to take the uh, take the truck up there, and we'll take the uh, take the tractor, and uh, should be able to do all of the harvesting, and uh, bring all of those back, and see about uh, turning those into some goodies. Now I'm going to have to find somewhere to dispose of my corn. I'm probably going to end up putting a decent amount of it up on the market just in case people need to use it themselves because I'm growing way more than I'm uh, than I'm capable of using it myself and the cornmeal unfortunately doesn't really have a you know there's not a whole lot of use for that until we get I want to say it's advanced baking when we can start making corn tortillas uh, and corn fritters and that sort of thing um, and I don't think there's really anyone over on our side of the world 
that uh, that has that. And so until either I get some more skill points to uh, to do that myself, or we get some more people over here that are actually uh, you know using that sort of thing. And there's there's not really any need for making the cornmeal. So uh, at this point, I'm really only making enough of it to you know make the um, field field campfires too. So I think it is. Yeah, field campfires twos, which really only require one apiece. Um, and uh, you know, I can turn it into into the cornmeal just to get the cereal grains out of it. But at this point, I've got more than enough um, enough levels. First of all, uh, that I can do the uh, the sunflower oil instead of the uh, of the cornmeal oil or the um, the wheat germ oil, cereal germ. And uh, I've also got um, you know I've. I, I uh, really don't need a whole lot of it because I'm I'm doing um, you know, most of my my big foods are using the uh, the baking now. So I would like to see if I can level that up a, a few more notches because once I hit I can't remember if it's baking four or baking five, but uh, we can make huckleberry pies and meat pies and those are really really good. Uh, to help balance out everyone's diet, so really looking forward to getting those leveled up enough to get those made. So finally, finally back home. Boy, what a paddle! It's like a, a three-minute journey both ways. So we're talking like a six-six minute round trip. Definitely something if I was going to do that with any sort of frequency, I would uh, I'd be investing in a faster boat <laughs> Because At this point it's Incredibly time-consuming There we go perfect. We'll go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go ahead and I pick This up there we go pick that up from there Thankfully it didn't take I only had to eat once, so... Oh, come on! Really? Alright, well... <laughs> we're gonna have to get... Let's do this. We'll put the card over here. Oh, come on! Fine. How about right there? There we go. And a reach. Perfect, let's do that. And then we should be able to pick this up. There we go. Alright. A little bit of a mishap. That's a little too, too close to the ocean, I guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually we'll <laughs> put the truck over here on the, on the side of the road because I don't have fuel for it at this point. I can put, uh, I can take the coal over to Reno over here and we should be able to There we go. And oh, I've got a whole bunch of it there too. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll move that over to here. And I'm going to put that into there for right now. Um, what can I canoe away there? And we'll put the food away because I don't need either of those currently. Um, I really got to figure out. There we go. Oh, nothing to move. Hang on, there we go. Uh, that's almost enough, I think. Let's see, 25 kilos, and I've got, uh, 12 currently in there. So I've got to get a little bit more out of here. Stomach's full, okay. Uh, let's see here, what else can I... What else can I put down? I don't need that. 
Don't need that. Ten. There we go. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and put that down. And we've got a steam truck. Finally. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll take the coal over to Reno's. That's this one. Perfect. All right. And uh, hopefully he'll have enough. I think he should. I have to purchase the coal. And then we should be able to take the shale back as well. Glass works there. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and sell 140. Oh, that's 70. Okay. Uh, you can get 72 of this. Total plus 34. Not quite. All right. So let's let's take that out and we'll sell 100 of those. No room. Okay. How about, let's do this. We'll take that off of there and we'll sell 20 of those. So we should be able to do 40 of those. There we go, perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll add that to the cart and we'll add, uh, let's do 40 of those. no room. Oh goodness. Alright, I'm going to take those out then. And we'll take that out. We should be able to complete that trade now. No. Take that out. There we go. Perfect. Alright. And then we should be able to go ahead and sell another 40 of those. There we go. And I'll sell i purchase another 40 of these. No, we got 32. There we go. No room. What do you mean, no room? No, I don't have enough. Don't have enough space. Oh, wait. Alright. Um, how about 20? Didn't realise it was so heavy. There we go. No room. Okay. Never mind then. Let's go ahead and we'll purchase both of those. There we go. Very good. And we'll go ahead and take this back to the car. To the, uh, to the steam truck now. Finally have some fuel for the steam truck. Fuel supply. Perfect. Okay, so we can go ahead. 17 minutes and change. Alright. So we'll have plenty for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll move all of this stuff over to the steam truck. There we go. And we'll just be able to use this doing all the finicky work now. There we go. Has apparently brought by some more more food stuffs for me. Um, go ahead and we'll, we'll take this over to over to Reno's here. Oh, such a beautiful thing. All right. that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get the sand, we'll get all four of those, 
You get all 32 of these. There we go, perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell all 60 of those. Perfect. And he's left with just a little bit. Just a little bit left. We'll come back and get some more crushed coal as soon as that's uh, as soon as that's done here. Uh, let's see here. Two crushed coal, one crushed mixed rock. Out of how many? Was twelve coal. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's uh, that's wildly expensive. <laughs> no wonder there's quite a quite a difference there. Alright. The crushed rock though I think can be turned into sand. Um, which will be very good. Go ahead and start shuffling this stuff over into the storage. Uh, actually, <laughs> won't even be able to do that. Okay, let's let's move some of this around because we've got Oh goodness, we've got no room there either. Okay, let's do this. There we go. And we are going to have to go and get a whole bunch of sand. Because this is completely out. Being able to produce any more of that. Is spoiling again. I'm going to have to stop making quite so much of this if it's all just going to go bad. Oh, we'll go ahead and eat that. Uh, some more sugar. Those pumpkins kind of, uh, kind of running low a little bit there. Got plenty of oil now. Let me see what we need for the research stuff over here. So, colony research paper advanced meat, research paper basic. We can do those without any issue. That appears to be it. Okay, so we can do dendrology research paper basic, we can do culinary research paper basic, we can do culinary research paper advanced meat. Uh, simmered meat. That is with cast iron stove, so that's cooking. So you can't do that. Agriculture research paper advance, we can make that. Just need a lot of dirt. Oh, we should be able to do that without too much issue. We'll, uh, we'll get the roads cut. And uh, shouldn't have any issue with that. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I've got my uh, my shovel repaired here. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll take the truck down. To, uh, oh goodness, I need to re-engineer the roads here a little bit, <laughs> that's a bit, of a bit of a tangle to get down there. Mr. Wolf is stuck. Okay, perfect, so we're going to leave that right there. I'm going to take the cart down into here. Nobody's stolen it this time. There we go, perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll uh, we'll start digging this out. Should have plenty of sand for making the rest of the bricks that I'm looking for, because we're going to go ahead and see about upgrading our house. I finally reached the point where we can uh, produce enough bricks. Um, we can do that without issue. Really wish we could do more than one. I really, really like the um, big shovels mod 
for that particular reason, because you can pick up like five or ten, um, just as you can if you take it like so. For instance, if I do this, I can take ten on my shovel like that, but you can't dig up more than one at a time. So the big shovel mod, there we go, the big shovel mod just uh, changes that so that you can fit, you know, the same ten that you'd be able to pick up out of a stockpile on you shovel when you're picking it up, so, well, let me, cart, there we go, I'll put a like and subscribe on there, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pop those up to there. Well, not steam carts, sorry. Um, skid steers. Skid steers, when all this shovel mining becomes a thing of the past. And uh, getting resources is a matter of seconds, or maybe a minute or two. Instead of digging over here for. Processing, let's, go log panel, that, yes we don't want the ego log panel, there we go, new tab, we create a new channel, no we don't want that, what do we, there's got to be a way to, to edit what all we see here. Tab, new tab, systems, there we go, uh, message source, settings, there we go, perfect, so we don't want notifications. Uh, trades, we don't really need either. Government, we don't need crafting. We don't need server log. There we go, that's... We don't need wages at this point either. There we go. Okay. And then the nice thing is, because this is a cart, no one can pick it up and, uh, and take it away. And it's actually got more inventory space there uh, than I've got even with a even with a stockpile. So we can do a lot more efficient transfer of uh, large quantities. That much faster. Ooh. Definitely going to need to re engineer some roads here. Alright, let's go ahead and stockpile. Can we move those over to there? We got up there. That's bricks and sand and clay. Okay, good, that's that one. Uh, that'd be this one then. Perfect. Let's go ahead and we'll move those into there. And we should be able to move that in as well. I'm going to tell this... So that's this one. Uh, we're going to stop it from using the sand out of here quite yet. There we go, so that we can turn those into bricks, because uh, we've got more than enough for doing that. There we go, perfect, and we'll just tell it you can pull out of there as well. 
just in case we need it. Put the mortar back into here. There we go. Yeah, that should that should work much better. I'm going to go ahead and we'll make sure that any clay that we have over there is transferred over as well. It's all in there. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to see about getting some more clay. Uh, 178 over at Rocco's. Or at, uh, at Duckos. Oh, we might see about doing that, actually. And... Gold bar, 80 McDuckets. Interesting. You know, no one's no one's selling those. <laughs> Items for sale. Oh, we do have an iron pickaxe now. We might see that popping up and getting some of those. Oil, cornmeal, yeast, clay. Yeah, we'll see about doing that. And then and he's got plenty of currency. Perfect. Right, so I'm going to go ahead then, and we'll... We'll take those over, we'll sell a bunch of these. steam truck. Let's go ahead and move this up, make it a little easier to transfer stuff backwards and forwards. We're going to go and sell a bunch of these to Duck. There we go, perfect. see about making up some more meaty stews because those are really going to be the only thing that balances out my my food at this point. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to take these up to McDuck's and sell a bunch of those to him. And uh, we'll get some of the uh, McDuck's and the uh, McDuckets add into the economy again. So there were very few of those. Actually out available. Let's see about making some more good moulds. Hello Mr. Elk. That stone rose. work on that later. We really need to find, or I need to find, who's got engineering over here because we want to make sure to supply them with plenty of food and if possible the resources necessary to get, uh, get roads really cranking. Because that's really been our biggest, our biggest difficulty is just the fact that We haven't had enough enough transportation. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna sell the campfire salads. We've got three of those. Add them to the cart. We've got 18 of those. I'm gonna sell those as well. And is there anything else that we have? No, it looks like that's it. Uh, that'll be 162. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase a bunch of the clay. There we go. 
make sure that I've got room for it all. I think I've got enough. All right, let's go for a hundred to start off with. There we go. Yep, and should have enough for 78 now. Perfect. Okay, so we've purchased all the clay. Oil for two. We really don't need it in myself though, so, oh, nails. Move this out of the way, there we go, nails. Currently the only place to purchase them. Interesting. But we'll have to see if Strand is on later and see if he can make some for us. Because those are very expensive at that sort of price, especially considering that nails are made 16 nails out of one iron bar, so at most we'd be looking at like $2 or two McDuckets. I'm gonna see, oh, I'm gonna see if we can get Strand to make those, those are, those are a bit pricey. He's too heavy. Goodness, that was, that was quite a bit there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll take these back to the house. And uh, we should be able to make a decent number of bricks out of all of this. I'll have to see about making some more boards, so I'm going to have to get back to uh, get back to chopping down some trees. Now that we've got the steam truck, we should be able to transport in mass numbers and much faster previously without any issues. I'm going to go ahead and drop by over here as well because I've got some foods to sell here. Uh, there we go, baked roast. Uh, I've got six, we'll go ahead and sell those. Oop, not enough items. What do you mean, not enough items? Six of them. Oh, they're at fifty percent. Not at fifty percent. Not quite enough. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to gobble those up ourselves. No worries. Those are going to help to balance things out. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and pop back to the house then and uh, get all those bricks making. And I will have to see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.